Hey guys, this is Alvin and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about why expectation is the root of disappointment and depression. Let the video begin. So let me tell you a short story. So it's that time of the month again for all men to go get haircuts, right? So we go into the shop feeling you know, a little bit lazy, a little bit uh, too tired, uh, not happy with ourselves, not happy with our looks, and then we get that haircut. And then we're faced with that choice where do you want to style it up, make yourself look good, and you know, go out for the day, be confident, and most men says, yes, hell yes, let's do it. And you do it. And at the end of the day, you come back home feeling confident as hell. You know, you've done this thing and you walk out feeling pride and whatnot. But then at the end of the day, you come back, you shower, and in the morning, you feel excited and confident for this new look and you want to style it up again and so you could look good for the next day. But then reality hits you and you don't look exactly like you did yesterday and you're sad, you're upset. It's not because your hair looks bad or anything. It's just that it wasn't like yesterday. Let's, yesterday, you looked like a rock star because you got your hair cut at a barber shop and they made it look really, really cool and they made it look really, really good on you. But then today, you're not able to style it up again and you're not able to look as cool as you did yesterday. So what happens? What happens is now you're let down. Now you're disappointed for the rest of the day. And that is just a small example of what expectations can do to you. Now, over time, when you learn to expect things, expect that this should be done to you, this should be given to you, and when it's not, you feel utterly and major disappointment. Let me give you another example. Let's say an Uber this time. So the first time you get into an Uber, it's really good. This driver is amazing. The second time was good, the third time was good, but then the fourth time comes and the driver is just average. Now, the likelihood of you giving that driver a bad rating is high because the first, the second, and the third time was really, really good, and now it's a major letdown. So you're giving that driver a bad score, even though he or she may deserve just a medium average score. Now, let's take another scenario, the opposite scenario, for example. You get into an Uber, and the first time was shitty, the second time was shitty, the third time sucked, but then the fourth time, an average driver comes along, and then you give that person a higher rating than he or she deserves, even though they were just mediocre. This is what expectations does to us. When we're on a good day and we expect things from people and they deliver, it's great and all. But when it's a bad day, you, it makes you look at the world in a different perspective, an unfair perspective. You're looking at the world and you're blaming it for being the root of all disappointment that you are facing, even though it is not true, you're just having an average day. But then your expectation is letting you down. Now, here's what I think on it. I think expectations are like jars of cookies. Now, if you give people, now if you give somebody your jar of cookie and they take out a cookie and then they throw it out the window, you can be upset as hell, right? But, and, but then, on the other hand, they could take that jar of cookie, they could eat the cookie, and they could compliment you like, oh, this is such a good cookie, right? But then again, why do you want to take the chance? Why do you want to risk it all 50-50? Why? Right? It's your jar of cookie. Keep it with yourself. Don't give anybody the chance to hurt you like that. When you expect things from people, you're giving them the chance to hurt you. And when you give too many people the chance to hurt you, they will hurt you. People are not generally good or bad. It's just a difference of timing and where they're at at their life. Here's a quote I love from Marcus Aurelius from the book Meditation. Today I shall be meeting with interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyal, ill will, and selfishness. And yeah, that's what it is. You have to believe and think that the world is going to be shitty and go out not expecting anything from anyone and just give without thinking about taking anything in return. That's when you become an adult, that's when you become mature, and that's when you learn to be happier. The day you stop letting your happiness be controlled by everyone else is the day you truly become happy. Now, in reality, that's not going to happen to you. That's not going to happen to me, that's not going to happen to any one of us. 
we're going to have bad days and we're going to learn to expect things from people who are going to disappoint us and who are going to make us feel let down. That's the reality. It's like a checkbook. You're going to have loss, you're going to have gains. Right? But the smart people, the truly wise people on this planet are the ones that learn to keep a checkbook. Right? The ones that don't and say, oh, well, today I just have less money or tomorrow I just have a lot of money. Let's spend it all. Right? Like, if you are not managing your life properly, if you don't know what's keeping you up, what's letting you down, if you don't know what's happening to you, if you're not conscious about your emotions and about the things that's affecting it, then you're not a very wise person. Then you're going to go on living life, letting things and people around you pull you this or that way, and you're going to go a certain direction. But if you learn to be conscious of what makes you happy, what doesn't, or what you did right and what you did wrong, there's always a chance of improvement in the future. So that's what I have to share with you. But about the, the checkbook thing, it's from Seneca, and, and I would love to make an entirely separate video talking about keeping and balancing a checkbook of emotions. But for today, that's it from me. I hope you guys loved the video. If you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs up. If you did really, really like it and want to see more, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.